What's up, good people? Dr. Earl here. It's sitting in my room, about to head to bed. I got work the next morning. I get done um, later in the afternoon. I'm thinking it should be a good day like it has was today. In fact, most of the days that I work in the mornings are pretty good. They're pretty steady. Thank goodness for that. Right now, as we speak, the MTV Video Music Awards is on the air. <laughs> and, what's, and what really boggles the fuck out of me is that why do they still have Video Music Awards when MTV no longer plays music videos? You look at the MTV today, it's anything but music videos. It's been like that for the past couple of few years. It used to be a music channel. They used to play videos. They used to play bands, up and coming bands. I remember during the New Romantic era, they would, um, during the early 1980s, they would play Adam and the Ants, Classics Nouveau, uh, Spandau Ballet, way before they became uh, Kane Suave, uh, singers like uh, Brian Ferry and such like that and before they made that hit song True it was the same way I remember Headbangers Ball I remember 120 Minutes all the people may say oh, well we have MTV Classic but that doesn't really help that much well, from what I understand we don't have it on our system from what I remember, it's only stuff from the 1990s, like uh, Daria, Beavis and Budhead, The Real World. What about stuff like um, MTV Basement Tapes, where up-and-coming bands could submit their videos in, and uh, viewers can call in to decide which one becomes a, becomes a regular, gets signed to a record deal. I remember one Detroit band called The Toby Red was one of those groups that did that. They had a hit song called Can't Get a Job. That was played on there. Sadly, they didn't win, but from, my, from what I understand, their drummer, Chad Smith, would later go join the Red Hot Chili Peppers and find success on his own terms. It saddens me that the MTV that we used to know, and I'm including the VH1, in all this, this as well, because as far as I'm concerned, they did the same damn thing. Turn their back on their music legions in favor of reality TV shows. If it isn't love and hip hop, Atlanta, Hollywood, Miami, and such, it's something else. It's competition shows like I Love Money or um, programs like Mundo Rock of Love. The f the Daisy of Love, or something like that. Let's find this particular celebrity, a loved one. And um, those romance hardly even uh, last, let alone, they never, fuck, let me rephrase that. They don't even last close to a year, let alone a few months. I was watching a little bit of, uh, of some of this video music awards or VMAs as we used to, was in our calm. And it just disgusts the fuck out of me. The simple fact that the MTV we remembered is now gone, dead, deceased. I used to have my little uh, Tiesco guitar there learning chords to, trying to learn chords to certain songs where it's a cheap trick song an iron maiden song or uh trying to uh, learn this that you know learning you know i used to dance at the clubs very wildly because of the old mtv you watch all these videos where there's billy idol duran duran some judas priest video like breaking the law or got another thing coming that's where i learned all that shit from Some of the moves Axl Rose used to do when he still had his hair poofed out to here. Welcome to the jungle, live and let die.
those are gone. Those have been gone for the past upteen years since I was living in Richmond up to now. It's been about pregnant teen girls at the age of 16. Girls living in um, in the ritzy parts of California. Dining with the uh, exquisite uh, restaurants. Living in the exqu exquisite apartments. Apartments that I would have to rob a bank 20 times to even afford just one month's rent. And now it's becoming, of course, the Catfish Channel now because, of course, uh, I can understand that because there were a couple of times I was catfished back in Michigan over on Facebook and on other chat sites. I still have issues with these motherfuckers today trying to contact me, posing as different um, individuals, you know, trying to pose as women, but... Trying to say that they're ambassadors to Syria and shit like that. When they are, all they are is a bunch of gay men using fake identities. Come out and say that you are. If you're interested in me, I'll just come out and say, hey, I'm not interested in you. I'm a straight. I'm straight. I'm into pussy. I'm into tits. I'm into chicks asses. No dudes, okay? If you gotta pose uh, as a woman to get my attention, that makes you a pathetic piece of shit, son of a bitch. It pities the fuck out of me to see that the MTB that I remembered as an early teenager when it first started, when I first laid my eyes upon, when my mother first observed and called me out to the living room to show me, no longer, now no longer exists. It disgusts the hell out of me to see MTB fall into the uh, what's current. We gotta follow what's current. We gotta be like uh, what everybody else is doing. Everybody's doing uh, uh, teenage drama shows, teenage reality shows. We gotta follow along the footsteps. You know, like I was, I didn't give a rat's ass about Jersey Shore. I didn't give a shit about Teen Mom. I don't give a shit about um, these competitive shows like Fear Factor or whatever it was. The only real competitive show I re ever really didn't enjoy was a program called Fear around 2001, 2002, if I'm correct. And we had uh, a bunch of kids uh, signing up to uh, win a bunch of money, but they had to perform all these you know, um, scary tasks like walk through uh, haunted prisons, hospitals, and such like that, stay overnight and shit like that. Hell, I go for it in a heartbeat. I'm not that easily of a scared person. Just have me a little have a little something by my side just in case, you know. But that was it, you know. Oh, gotta oh yeah, I forgot to forget the Osbournes. Me and the girl that I was seeing at that time used to love that show to death. That was the prime days. And by the way, because of the Osbournes, every f music related family out there gets a reality show. Every celebrity family gets a reality show. And they all try to do the same thing. They try to be dysfunctional. <laughs> Come on. It's not working. They tried it with uh, Nick and Aaron Carter. That didn't work out. They tried to do it with Lorenzo Lamas, the actor. That didn't work out. Give us a fucking break. <sighs> it sends the fuck out of me that MTV, that music channel, is now just the reality show channel. Why don't you just, uh, instead of calling it MTV, it should be RTV reality television because that's what it all is now 
far as I'm concerned, NTB died a long time ago. But yet, MTB still has their viewers. MTB still has the young millennials who watch them, the youngsters who uh, still like it. <sighs> you youngsters can go like it. Like your shit shit. I'll stick to M of YouTube where I can watch good shit, good quality shit, good quality music videos and concerts. Screw you, MTB. You sold out big time. I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I was going to say something sarcastic like, I want my MTV like they used to do back in the day. But now at this point, I'm going to say this. I hate my MTV. I'll see you.